Okay, now we are heading uh, and we are going to see where it was used as a port before. Port? A port. Why uh -huh. is they call it port here in East Africa? Okay. Uh, because those Shiraz, or the people from Persian Gap, they are coming to this side. It was more facilitated by the two things. First, by the monsoon winds, the wind from north and south and other things. Uh -huh. So they used to check if it, it is from the south wind, they used to take them from Asia to this side of Africa. Uh -huh. And if it is a, a northern wind, they are going to take them back to their countries. And here in the coast of East Africa, there used to be many natural harbors, like the one here we are going to see, oh. actually. Mm -hmm. And this spot came to an end after those trees, the natural vegetation of mangroves appeared over here, mangrove uh -huh. tree. So those shiraz, they covered here, because from now they've covered about uh, two kilometers from where the, the sea and all reaches, which means they couldn't pass to the interior. Mm -hmm. So they had to find another port, uh, what we can say it was safe compared to this one. They found it the one of Bagamoyo town, near mm -hmm. to the fish market. I don't know if you've passed there maybe. Bagamoyo, yes. In Bagamoyo town. Mm -hmm. But the problem of that port, even nowadays, it is not that deep. It was too shallow to accommodate big ships and other things. Uh -huh. So they had to move there also looking for another safe port. In their language it was Bandaria Salam. And in Swahili it is Bandari Salam. That is how that place which was known as Mzizima before, it was later being called Dar es Salaam, which means a peaceful port. Uh -huh. And when they moved here, that is the main reason why the development of this site had to fall and they allowed Dar es Salaam to grow as it is seen nowadays. And our sea reaches to this level. If you come, especially in the evening at 5, 6, you are going to find the sea up to this level. Uh, so starting from this one here, it is a mangrove. Uh -huh. There is another one which is a grey or white one, which is the hardest mangrove. In those days, because nowadays they are protected, they are not allowed to cut and other things. So in those days, they used it in making sailing vessels, like cannons, boats, and the other things. And uh, there's another one which is black, small compared to this one. It is a natural vegetation, so you don't need to plant them. They're just going to grow by themselves. Like here, for the black ones, those small ones over there. Here it is a seed, this one here. Uh -huh. After it has fully grown, it is just going to fall down. They're always on top hanging. When they reach to the ground, when they stand, it means they're going to shoot as a tree. But if they just, just fall, it means they're just going to die or to dry, the other things. And some things like those ones over there, like roots, uh -huh. those are the coming trees of the coming years. Also. That is why they couldn't move them.